all right i'll admit i had to do a little bit of reading here to figure out what to do next um I think it's because I didn't take the right kind of notes. So to the great of credit to the developers for really um, developing a, a visual novel that does require you to, to read. So let's um, let's move south here. We will need to get to a bank. We're actually pretty close to um, what we what we need uh we're gonna go to the the bank here and we need more feather okay we're not gonna need either of these items we're not gonna need this either we only need one of our keys to, have to be in our inventory here um and so yeah we're gonna save that uh we are gonna go down to the hunt and go to the castle here enter pick a book at random and we're going for something between a two and a five we got a nine we don't need the curse book we've already experienced what that is like we've also picked the magician's book it did not give us anything so again we do not need a cursed book we need the explorer's book so uh, let's save at the right po spots here so we can push through got the explorer's book and plus one scouting plus one rank and that's that is rank 10 maximum stamina by two we've lost permanent stamina in our playthrough so i'm sure we could have pushed 30 stamina uh by now we've also gained a new skill which uh, allows us to uh, have an optional extra skill. And so we don't need a water spirit. Uh, we don't need to fall prone. And I do like that. Stunning blow. Cleansing flame. I need strike. Okay. I feel like the action points. I also feel like we don't, no, no, no. Let's get to the, grab this one. And when ready, we got Bookworm as well. We hurry out. Can't we escape. So we're trying to get away from the castle there. And so, yeah, we have rank 10. 10 of 10 completed character goals. Sans the Iron Man achievement. Uh, we've also got a ton of exploration um, that I don't think we're going to get to in this Let's Play. Uh, there's a lot of um, optional side things that we, I don't think, um, have the time to trigger in this Let's Play. Um, there's some death achievements, I think. There's the gun achievement. I really, you know, I, I wish I, I would have done... Uh, what was necessary to complete uh, this achievement because I think that would have been kind of funny. Um, I don't know if this is a gold fall achievement with the make it rain reference, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm just not sure. So uh, look, I got to say uh, in terms of storytelling, this game was amazing. Uh, the, the amount of reading was light, but very detailed. It required you to slow down to read and you, you see in this this let's play that i was not that successful at that um the item system traditional uh, you know um item system um with with the ability to upgrade and uh, modify um, items the spell system was limited but uh you know interesting enough to make combat uh challenging in in some encounters um you can see we've completed about three-fourths of the game with a lot of it being exploration that's still left over i have a feeling that some of that has to do with branching choices uh and the ability to um or to be the 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 openness to which one is to accepting um death 
and, and really relying on those resurrection deals. Um, and, and also traveling light so that when you do get a bad dice roll, it doesn't destroy your, your entire spirit like it did every time with me because I decided I was going to wander around um, carrying my entire inventory. Um, I, and I will say, I'll, I'll end on this. Um, this was perhaps the most intriguing, interesting, and yet um, the, probably the single point which was most frustrating is that um, early in this Let's Play, we lost all of our uh, inventory and our gear at the Pyramid of Zanak. That is by design in one of the um, story selections. And we got a key uh, that was able to be deleted by the game um, and cannot be replaced. And I did not know that. As a player, I saw all of my stuff was, was lost. I decided to try to go back in the Pyramid and I lost the Obsidian key, which is necessary uh, in the city of ruins to access a tomb uh, to also get something called the pyramid key which will allow me to go back and get my inventory uh, but that did not happen i would have loved for that to be the way that we capped off this let's play because i i think it would have been a great um, ending to our story it, it really was my motivation to complete most of the quests because i figured at some point i was going to get this pyramid key there's also a story option at the Pyramid of Z Zanak that, that is grayed out uh, what seemed like the whole time um, about a memory, and I, I figured that would be something that would trigger for me, and yet it, it did not. Um, the other thing that I found very cool about the game uh, and its mechanics was the fact that we get a fortress here in Utaku, kind of a base of operations. Um, we can get some free blessings there, the ability to enchant our items. There is a siege mechanic that I that I was I, you know seemed like I just threw money at, but never um, had to deal with. Um, there's a couple of places that I could not explore in the game um, that I'm not sure I could not explore. The carapace here of the Great Turtle seems like that's inaccessible. Umbar's vortex you can see on the map when you're sailing, but nothing there. Um, the Sorcerer's Isle, uh, again you can get really close to it, but nothing there it seemed like there were a lot of wizards sailing around though so maybe it was just made reference um but yeah everything else we could freely explore um i'm sure there were some story options we missed inevitably um there were some branching story decisions that prevented me from completing certain achievements and that's fine i think it encourages more than one playthrough which i i praise the developers on um, you know, if you looked at this map at a glance, you'd think, wow, it's a, it's a small game. But there is so much packed into uh, Fabled Lands from Prime Games. And I really enjoyed uh, th this, uh, this tabletop uh, conversion into a, an RPG game. Um, and, and, and I can't say enough. Um, look, 9 out of 10. And I only say 9 out of 10 because I want my shit back from the Pyramid of Zanak. And, and so for all of you that um, were watching on YouTube, for those of you that watched me play this live on Twitch, thank you very much. Um, if you watch this later on, uh, years from now, days from now, months from now, um, please leave comments uh, about the things that you found funny, the things that you thought I sucked at, the parts you found really cool. Um, and I hope you give this a try yourself. And uh, once again, thank you to Prime Games for creating such an awesome experience. And until our next Let's Play, I'll see you guys next time.